Damn, Rachel. It's like the Asian Bachelor. Crazy Rich Asians premiered on August 15th and quickly became the surprise hit of the year. Are you ready for this? The film brought in $170 million at the box office, which made it the most successful rom-com in more than a decade. It's the sixth highest grossing rom-com of all time. That means everybody saw it. Now to the number one movie making major move at the box office. Crazy Rich Asians is based on a best-selling novel by Kevin Kwan, and it is about a Chinese-American professor of economics, played by Constance Wu from Fresh Off the Boat, who visits Asia for the very first time with her handsome boyfriend, played by Henry Golding, who she doesn't know happens to be kind of the unofficial prince of Singapore. Just mirror people like staring at me. Oh, they're just jealous. You nabbed the crown prince. Basically, it's a fish out of water story, but with a really unique twist. She's going to a place where she looks like everybody around her, but she feels out of place because she didn't grow up in this culture. Right now, she just thinks you're some like banana. Yellow on the outside, or white on the inside. And I love that it differentiates between somebody who grew up in Asia and like my character who grew up in America and is 100% American. And we don't see too many stories that focus on that like sort of cultural difference while also celebrating the cultural similarities. Oh, no, 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 uh, those are your fingers. What's so cool is that it's just such a good movie, period, but it also had an all Asian cast and that is really significant. The last time a major studio took a chance on an all-Asian cast uh, was 25 years ago with the Joy Luck Club. In between, we got nothing. That's a really long time. What's up, Let's go! The first time I saw Crazy Rich Asians with an audience, it was this almost transcendental experience. Just because it was packed with Asian Americans and Asians and they were cheering at all the right moments. Um, people were responding emotionally to this film. I mean, it was just wonderful to see so many people reacting to seeing themselves on screen. It was a good business story for Hollywood as well. The filmmakers really wanted this to be a cultural moment for the United States and for the world, and they succeeded beyond their wildest expectations. People are hoping that this opens the eyes of Hollywood and the people behind these huge studios to see that we do want to see something different. We do want to see diversity and something that looks a lot more like the fabric of this country. I think it means there's going to be a lot more movies like it coming down the pike.